Well, hello everybody. Today I would like to show you one of the Photoshop functions which I think is not only the most important, the best, it's almost better than sliced bread. So this feature is called Apply Image. And I use it mostly for masking, but it can be used for many other things. So let's get right to it and I'll show you how I use it. Okay, so we are here in Photoshop uh, CC 2014 and uh, I have an image open by Megan Choi from Megan Choi Photography. Uh, she provided that image and uh, let me use it for uh, this video. Uh, it's just a perfect image to show what I wanted to show on the apply image. Okay, so let me go right into um, what I'm lo always looking for first is I'm looking at the channels and uh, the channels here, for example, red, green, and blue. The red channel would give me a wonderful mask here for the um, bright areas. And uh, that's probably one of them we're going to use. Another thing I'm going to do right off is I am going to go to image and uh, say duplicate and um, say OK. Now what I'm going to do is I am switching that image to CMYK colors. And um, just click OK here. Now what that gives me here, if I look at the channels here, that gives me four more images I can use, black and white images I can use as masks. So I have three RGB masks and I have four CMYK masks and they're all a little different. I will, I will show you in a second how I use them. So now I'm going into here into uh, Megan's original picture here and uh, what I'm going to do is I duplicate uh, the background by pressing Control J. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make that image a little darker in the darker areas and uh, I'm doing that here by image, apply image. Now, what I'm going to do here is my source image will be the copy and I'm going to use the black layer of the CMYK and I'm doing that in multiply mode. Okay, so I press OK. And so if you look at the image now, we're pretty dark in the dark areas, perhaps a little too dark. And uh, I'm going to go into multiply here. Uh, we'll go and lighten that up just to here, let's say to perhaps 50%, maybe somewhere around that area. Okay, let's go with 50%. Now, uh, what I'm going to show here is basically what I used is the apply image to apply that here. Um, onto a, a layer, but I can also, if I delete that, what I can do is I can do an empty layer. I go image, image apply, and the Megan copy, and I'm using the black of the CMYK, and I click OK. So I now have that channel in here, the CMYK channel, the black channel, and I can do a multiply on this. That makes everything dark, a little darker, and it doesn't affect the bright areas. But I'm gonna go back a little bit here, uh, like I did before to about 50%. I know Megan likes her pictures a little dark anyway, so I'm gonna stay with this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply 
a curved channel here. And see this area here? There's nothing here, so which means the bright areas in this picture are pretty much left off and somewhere in the three quarter range section here. So I'm going to bring that up all the way, like for example, like to here. And what I'm going to do here is because this affected more than just um, the areas I wanted. So now I'm going to apply an image for the layer mask here. Go to apply image. And I like the red channel in the other area the, in the first and the original. So I'm going here, I'm going down to background and uh, I'm taking the red channel. See, the red channel has a lot of uh, highlight areas in there, which, I'm, which I can use. Bring that to normal and click OK. So let's take a look at uh, with and without that channel. Now let's take a look at the channel itself. It's um, here is you know the brighter areas uh, defined by that um, uh, mask. What I can do here now, I'm pressing Control M. Um, oops, it doesn't work for some reason now. Okay, I'm going image adjustment curves. And I'm going to brighten up the bright areas a little bit and tighten up the dark areas. And now this is just going to be used as a mask now. I don't want anything to get lighter in the dark areas. And I want basically everything getting brighter in the bright areas. Okay, so I have that as a mask now. Click on there. And uh, so what we have now is we intensified the bright areas and uh, we lowered the dark areas by just using the apply image on um, one layer and one layer mask. Let's see the before and after. This is the before and this is after. So we have a lot of, a lot of extra uh, brightness in there, a lot of extra uh, sparkle in that area. We can go and lighten up that a little more or darken it, depending on where we go with. But this is all there is to it before and after. And I hope you found interesting how I use the channels uh, to get masks from. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.